Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. We have a Yardman machine, 24 inch snow thrower. It's self propelled. And I just wanted you to, uh, I wanted to show people out there how I would operate the machine so it'll help somebody out if they get into a bind as far as how to operate it. We have uh, controls up here. We have your drive, it's your self propelled drive, which is the right side. And then also read, read them right here drive control. This is for your drive. You have your forward and reverse gears. You have six speeds here forward and two speeds in reverse. And then you have your auger control here for your, this is how you get the auger to actually go on and spin. All right. Then down here, we also have the chute control, which will, you turn it one way, it goes left. You turn it the other way and it goes right. And that will give you the direction of the snow and which way it's going to be blown. And you also have a, another one up here, which you can, this is just a little wing nut right here knob, plastic knob that you can actually turn it. You can point this up or down. I wouldn't go too far down because it tends to back up through the chute, but uh, if you use silicone, uh, that actually helps the non-sticking of the snow. But this is for your angle of the snow that's coming out of the front, and then you can tighten it up with this wing nut here. All right, and I definitely recommend silicone spray inside your chute here and also inside your, your auger compartment as far as uh, when you go to blow snow. If you do this before, you blow the snow and you spray silicone in here, it actually helps the snow come out a lot faster, quicker, and it doesn't get clogged as much. It's just, uh, it's like Pam on your uh, countertop when you're doing in your, in your spraying something for cooking. Well, silicone is the same way with when you're blowing snow, it actually helps the snow come out. All right, when you have your snow blower, when you buy it, if you have electric start, they usually give you a cord, all right? This is your electric start button. This is your electric starter here. This is a gigantic electric motor. It's designed to help the customer run the machine when it's cold outside. These sometimes you can pull start it here if you want to pull start it. And when you're out in the driveway, um, this is the how you want to start it if it shuts off, it's your pull start. But when you're in the garage, you can use your electric starter. I would suggest only using their, their it's either seven or 10 feet of cord I have here. And this is what they usually give to you when you purchase your machine. You just want to plug it in. Plug it directly into an outlet. Do not use extension cords. You can do this up at your garage or if your shed has electricity, wherever you're keeping the machine, make sure you plug it into, directly into an outlet. The reason why you don't want to use any more is because these electric motors draw a lot of amperage and you can actually fry the starter if you use like a hundred foot of cord. It's uh, it, You drop the amperage as the cord gets longer and you want to go to thicker cord. But if you just use what they gave you, plug it directly into an outlet, you should be good. All right. Uh, oil has been checked. I would definitely double check your oil. Gas has been checked. This is a four cycle, so you put straight gas in here. And then we have down below is all of our knobs to start it up. So we have to stop, turtle, and rabbit. That's for fast, slow, and stop. Then you have your choke, which is off right now. It's in the wrong position, so that's off. So that's where you have it when you're running it. When you start it up, you're going to have it straight down to a choke position. That's straight down. We're going to leave it on right now because we're going to start it. Then you have your primer bulb. That's basically designed for cold starts, extreme, well, when you're in the, when it's snowing at 30 degrees or below. So you're going to prime this once or twice, when you, which I just did. This is an emergency on and off switch. You pull this out, it'll shut the machine down. You have to make sure that you have this in or your machine will not start. So if you have other machines, sometimes they put them in different spots. Make sure if you see a hole like this, there's usually supposed to be a key that goes in there and you have to have this in. That's like emergency shut off. If you pull this out real quick, you'll shut, shut the machine down. This is the normal stop right here. You can shut it off that way also. I usually start the machines up right about the center, um, right between the rabbit and turtle, that's medium. Chokes on, we've already primed it twice. Now we got it plugged into our electric starter. We're gonna push the button, crank it up. I'm gonna turn it off, but I'm, I'm just gonna show you that it does run. And as soon as it starts up, you take the choke off. So you have it running per se. Now you wanna make sure you unplug your electric start, starter from the cord, get that out of your way. And then you're ready to come back here and operate the controls. I definitely recommend hitting your auger down. Just put your auger on before you move. That will eliminate you from getting a clog by pushing the snow blower into the snow pre, you know, prior to having your augers run. So I usually make it a habit of having the auger turning before I move it forward or backward. 
and then you have your drive and just pay attention to your signs sometimes these are reversed sometimes you have the auger on this side and the drive on this side so just pay attention to your controls and then you have your forward speeds you can go from one to six forward speeds there and you have two reverse speeds you you can adjust this prior to engaging it so i would start at the low speed of course to find out if you what speed you want to be at versus how much snow's on the ground and you just hit your hit your drive control lever down and away you go that basically is how you operate this yard man machine and thanks for watching